Today I'm going to be playing the Evil Within. I'm going to be doing this because one, Evil Within 2 comes out in a day or two, depending on when I release this video. Um, two, I wanted to just kind of go back to this game. Haven't played it since it came out, and I'm, I'm a completionist, so I wanted to go through it, unlock all the achievements, you know, go through it on all the different difficulties and all that good stuff. So this will kind of contribute into that a little bit. Uh, last time I played this, I was doing the Akumu mode. I'm not going to resume that or start that over today because I'm going to be too noobish, <laughs> straight up, to to dive back into that. I mean, that shit scarred me for life. I oh god, I just I still remember that. I don't remember, you know, every everything about this game. I'm going to be kind of relearning it and kind of experiencing it for the first time again. But god, do I remember the. Uh, anger and frustration of akumu mode jesus fucking christ um whenever i decide to go through that mode i'll, I'll probably i'll probably uh, either stream that or uh let's play it or something so that you guys can see me suffer because uh, that's always a good time but yeah so let's go ahead and jump into it let's do new game So yeah, so that's the dreaded Akumu mode. One hit and it's all over. So yeah, so, oh my god. My feels, I just, just looking at it pains me. <laughs> but um, this stupid ass difficulty, one hit and you die. But all the enemies are on nightmare mode difficulty. Like, they take more damage. They're super assholey and aggressive. Meanwhile one hit of anything at all and it's over you're done fucking horseshit and i believe that the uh, the checkpoints are gone and like oh my god it's just just talking about it is making me angry but anyway that's not what we're doing right now we're gonna do nightmare mode so let's go ahead and get that going and then just a heads up i want to enjoy the story experience and i want all you guys that haven't experienced this game yet to be able to enjoy the story so during the cutscenes, I'm going to shut the hell up. All units, all units, 1199, expedite cover code 3, Deacon Mental Hospital. 184 copy, code 3, ETA 3 minutes. Copy 184. Sorry, detectives. I know you're just coming off a case, but I'm afraid we're going to have to make a detour. Sounds serious. Is it a riot? A call went out just before I picked you up. Said it was multiple homicides. Half a dozen units already on scene. One, three, one. Please advise. Hey, maybe it's the ghost of that doctor who went schizo and chopped up all those patients. That's not what happened. Some patients disappeared. Some kind of scandal? Still, it gives you the creeps, doesn't it? One, two, seven. One, two, four. Please respond. Joseph, you think there's a connection? It's a possibility. I believe the records were sealed. Anyone on scene? Dispatch, this is Detective Castellanos in 184. What's the situation? Over. 184, be advised. Some problems with Chimonians on the Deacon Memorial. Is there any... God damn it! Jesus! Junior Detective Kitten. Any thoughts? Nothing yet. I'm sure we'll know everything once we get there. dispatch and let them know what's happening. Joseph, Kidman, you're with me. We're gonna have a look around. Right. Hey guys. Hey guys, I got a trench coat. Hey guys. See my trench coat? 
Do you have a trench coat? You don't have a trench coat. I have a trench coat. Hey guys. No. You think these cars, these cop cars, would be like loaded with guns or something that I could take advantage of? But of course not. I can't remember if there's even any items like in this little intro thingy that I can pick up. I don't think there is. I can't remember. Ah. It smells like blood. All right, stay sharp. We're gonna check it out. Don't let anyone else through this door. I can be an extra set of eyes. We don't know what's happening here. You're a backup. Get the fuck out of here. No women allowed. This is the boys club. fall over are you injured what happened here can't be real impossible Rubik is... I've got him the security cameras might tell us something Am I the only one, or does he remind you of a nerdy Wesker? <laughs> like, I feel like it's just me, but I can't help but think that. God, I hate waking up like that. Sound good. You okay, buddy? Walk it off. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, like, they would just leave you your gun. Come on. And even if they did, wouldn't the gun have fallen out of the holster onto the floor, considering he was hanging upside down? Just the phone. Thank you. Go away, mister. 
Thanks. Ordinary keys. A key ring found in the mental hospital basement. These were in use long before the hospital's modern security system was put in. Thanks. I'm gonna go now. That's what I'm gonna do. I think I do, but we're going to sneak anyway. Come on, man. Come on, man. Shit. Run for your life. some diseases I mean seriously that's gross I just got my leg chainsawed and drop into a fucking vat of blood from probably like a million different people that shit's gonna be infected gonna get the herps Go this way. Oops. Can't remember if there is a run button or not. Though I probably can't run anyways because I'm all gimpy. Oh yeah, let's add some sewage water into the cut. Let's make sure that we die. That'd be great. Okay, that's gonna take too long. I'm not going down there. There's probably nothing there anyways. This is going to be locked. Or not. Oh, well, pfft. empty, locked. What the fuck's the difference? Where's the exit? What's that? Check your book. 
Sorry about that. Maybe this one's going to be the locked one. Uh, that counts. Shiny lock. More shiny locks. I feel like the frame rate is kind of shitty in this. So dark. That's my climbing ladder noises. That's how I climb ladders. That's what I sound like. Fun fact, you know. What about all the locked doors downstairs, man? What about that?